Now joined by Hofstra following the Pride 17 to 7 win over New Hampshire. Coach Smith, your overall assessment of today's game? Really great team win. I couldn't be more happy and proud of the girls. Um, it was a really tough first half against UNH. They played. They have a really great defense, and they played extremely tough. We didn't get that many shots. I thought we missed a lot of opportunities. We changed some things up in the locker room in the second half. Um, so when we came out in the second half, we came out strong. We got a lot more ball movement. Um, we got a lot more people's hands free to be able to finish their shots. Um, and defensively, we played really tough on the defensive side of the field. Um, we were able to stop stop their t uh, top goal scorers. We limited both of them to a total of t uh, two goals together. Um, and Maddie Fields came up with some great saves, and we uh, Alexa, uh, Katie, and um, uh, Darcy did a great job on the draws. And, and Alyssa had a phenomenal game for us on the offensive side of the field with Katie Will. And so great team win, but UNH was a really tough team. We just were able to wear them down in the second half. Yeah, what, what changed exactly there in the second half that really allowed you guys to pull away? Yeah, they're putting a lot of pressure on us down low. Um, so we decided to change up our offense and attack more from up top and get some more uh, throwback passes and triangle movements up top, which allowed our goal scorers to kind of get their hands free. We were able to find the cutters a little bit more on the offensive side of the field. Um, and I also think we started to attack more out of early offense. Alyssa and Alexa were taking those opportunities out of early offense, which was really nice to see as well. Uh, you talk about Alyssa's night, career high nine points. What was going so well for her? Yeah, I think she was. Um, she just allowed the game to come to her. Um, which was really something that we've talked about all week with her. Um, and I think that she finally settled in and took care of her opportunities. I also think that we put her in better scoring opportunities for herself to take advantage of the defense. Um, and it was just really nice. She was uh, seeing the defense and slow playing it a little bit more, still playing fast, but allowing plays to develop and really finishing her shots. And that was something I really talked about her, was <laughs> focusing on her finishing. Katie, I think 11 goals in the last three games for you, 20 on the season. What's been going right for you in the freshman season? Um, everyone's just been finding me really well, and everyone's been moving really well off ball, and we've been moving the ball really well um, on our offense. And, uh, for the team, what's been going right the last three games? Three pretty big wins for you guys after the Fairfield loss. Um, we just have a mindset of going into every game, trying to get um, to one and zero, just to get a win, and everyone's just dialed in. For you, Alyssa, what was it like in that second half? Coach talked about switching things up, so how were you able to get into the next mindset for the next half? Um, I think coming in um, during the second half in the locker room, we were just like, we have to come out just as strong. We know that they're down right now. We're up by how many goals, and they're going to come out just as tough as we're going to. And I think that we just put full force, and we ran with it, and we didn't stop. We like kept going and never looked back at that point after the second half. So. And just coming up from a leadership standpoint, what have you been thinking about all the freshmen on this team this year and what they've been able to produce so far, including Katie over here? I'm unbelievably proud of them. Um, I think this freshman class has helped us tremendously, tremendously this year. Um, they are workhorses during practice and on the field. And I think that all the hard work that they put in a practice and extra work they do um, during the practice times and after practice, that really translates into the game. And I can be more proud of how they've been doing. So. Uh, Alyssa, after the tough loss to Fairfield, you guys have just come back and responded by outscoring I think, the opponents by about 30 goals in the last three games. Uh, what, is it, what, is it, what is this team showing by responding to that loss with some three big wins? Um, well, like C Coach Torin Vine tells us, we don't want to taste we don't want to taste failure. We don't want to lose anymore. We don't want that feeling anymore. He just told us in the locker room when we were so excited, cheering and dancing, like we want this, this feeling and we want to keep going. We want to go one and zero next week against Elon, and we just want to. Keep moving forward from here. Coach, speaking of Elon, you open conference play a week from tomorrow. Your thoughts heading into CA play? Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, the CAA is a really tough conference all across the board. Um, each of the, our teams in our conference have had a great non conference. Uh, you know, and it's exciting the month of April, everyone starts zero and zero, a uh, brand new season. Um, and we're really excited to play Elon. Um, I think they played a really tough schedule, and I think they're going to be really prepared. So we have to really study a lot of game film over these next couple of days. So we're ready to go um, next week against Elon, against a really uh, tough team and, and a really well-coached team. But we couldn't be more excited to have our first conference game here at Hofstra. And so we don't have to be on the road. We get to play them here in our, our home stadium with our home uh, fans. A little bit, a third game now playing an attack. How's that been going? Um, definitely gives a lot of um, stress on my legs. I think it does help, but we've been working with it, and I think the team has just been taking what we work at practice and really translating it into the game. And 
I think that if anyone watched our practice this past week, they'll know that we worked so hard to play this game and to really take what we did at practice and put it into the game today. And that's how we won, I think, this today. Thank you.